Welcome everyone to a game called Oxygen Not Included, and today we're putting Bear Grylls to shame. We're not just drinking piss, we're making piss our way of life in this game. Uh, basically, we're going to be playing an easy playthrough and just going to be turning piss into the main state of our entire civilization. Yes, you heard me right, piss. We're going to be filtering our own piss into our water, into our crops, into our power. Everything will be powered by piss. Now, you may be wondering how I'm going to be able to do this. Well, this game doesn't really think about how well piss works for people. So we're going to be re-rolling these people until we get decreased bladders. Um, no, not increased bladder, decreased bladder. And there we go. Gossman, Otto, and Abe are three very small bladdered uh, duplicates. And we're going to be using them to build our entire colony, basically by themselves. So what we're going to we're going to do is we're going to start by removing all of this right here, including this right here. And off the bat, we're going to want them to have an outhouse to go to, but we're only going to give them we're only going to give them two outhouses. I know there's three of them, but they're only going to get two. That's all they're worth. And yes, you, I know you have sopping feet, but that's not what's important right now. And as soon as we find a good source of metal, which I know is above us, so we're going to be using a ladder. And we're going to put this right here for you. And you're, we're going to be digging out all of this right here. Just to start. I know you guys can climb up this part. Now, I'll also have one of you put this little vice there. Now, this research station is going to need some power, which we can power it up by putting three, or just two generators there, and then two batteries next to them, and putting some wires going from each of the batteries up to the research machine. Yes, run, Otto and Abe. Do all my bidding for me. Charge up the batteries that still aren't fucking built for some reason. You guys make me so mad. That's fine. We're going to start doing the first thing that's important to this and going down here to the liquids. And we're going to be researching all this plumbing stuff so that way we can get this. The lavatory. Which will make sure that our... Uh, Duplicants here are not using these outhouses, but instead are using the lavatory. Now, as you can see, we have a new printing available. So now we can choose a new colonist. But what we don't want is something with allergies, but we will take something that has construction, even though it does have allergies. I don't really want creativity because we don't really need artwork, but come here, Bonnie. Well, Prince, you. Thank you. Yeah, food poisoning. Good job. You guys were so happy about getting that. But what's good to notice is that our research is just about done. And I already chose the next research. So all we have to do is build a li liquid pump, which draws in liquid. And then you can kind of spread it out through a vent. But that's not really useful right now until we have the next step. Then we need to purify the water. Oh, you colonists better sleep for now because in the morning... You're going to be working through the entire day. We're going to just remove all your downtime from now. You don't get to sleep. You don't get to bathe. Just work. I would like to make them work. Thank you. They are on full work schedule. I don't care if there is no uh, issues that I can fix. I mean, I just, I just think I need to make them work all day. They really need to get their shit into gear if they want to eat. Because, you know, they're requiring a food source and don't know if I'm quite going to build one if they're uh, going to be acting this way. I say that as I just put down one, but that's fine. They, they deserve it. They've done some decency by taking up with this new work schedule. Now go, Abe. Research employment. Research... Research, Abe. You need to do this for us. Good job. You did it. Now, research more for me. 
I need you to research how to make the food. That way, you can actually eat. You deserve to eat after researching that. But you guys are now having going to have to deconstruct your... Wait, hold on. Abe, did you research the wrong fucking thing, dude? Uh, y you did. You researched the wrong fucking thing. You didn't get me the thing I needed. God damn it, Abe. You know what, Abe, for just that, you guys lost an outhouse. You guys can all thank Dave. Or Abe, I mean, sorry. I don't even care about you enough to remember your fucking name. And no more sanitation. You guys lost the wash bin. You guys lost it. All thanks to Abe over here. And guy is now researching the right fucking thing. You know what? Everyone but Abe. Abe, you get this one. Bud. Because you are going to have to work the full time. Because you fucked me over, Abe. Everyone else gets two hours of bedtime. And an hour of bath time. Babe, you keep working, bud. Thank you. Now go back to work. Now do the food. You're gonna make sure that your colonists can eat. And now you guys shall make the lavatory. Once you get rid of that fucking... There we go. And you'll have... Make sure the pipe goes down. About right here. And you'll put the vents on the ends. That way, it pushes all that shit right there. And we won't have to worry about any more urine, which will then filter it back up and make that all of your guys' water. All right, Abe, after this, you'll have to do one more thing, and then you can sleep. Because other than that, I do not care about you. But you will be able to research a little bit faster for me. And Bonnie, you'll learn how to dig harder. Or at least go into those harder stones. Abe, what the fuck are you doing up there, bud? You are supposed to be researching filtration. Get back to work. I don't remember telling you you could sleep. Gossman, you earned a skill point. Thank gosh, bud. Look at you. You can also learn how to dig. And uh, you can learn how to farm, I guess. I really don't care because that's not really necessary yet. What is necessary is someone going back to fucking work? It's supposed to be Abe. Gossman, you're not supposed to be doing this, but okay. And I'll put your guys' water cooler right next to the compost pile. That sounds like the best idea for you guys, because, I mean, you guys are already living in all of this piss. Look at all this shit. It's everywhere. I'm pretty sure that was Abe. Alright, and then someone's gonna be making some mush bars forever. You guys are gonna be eating basically just algae and dirt. Uh, and from that, you'll be using that to make piss, which you'll be using to make your own water. So, congrats. And now, we'll use this liquid filter. And we are going to basically put this right, right here. Oh, and we get another person. Please be with weak bladders, please. No? Okay, fine. We shall take uh, Joshua, because he is a gourmet chef. And we can we can use that. We can use that on the on the space station. And we'll start researching some stuff for power. Um I guess it's time for you guys to also possibly get some rooms. I'll build you guys a little bit of bedroom space up here with some furniture. Um excuse me, I did not say for that one to be right there. Alright, that's it. Everyone is back to this fucking shift. Everyone. Joshua. Otto. Bonhi. Gossman. Otto, get over here. You're all on this shift. No one is allowed to stop working. Alright, now, back to work. Everyone shall be working around the clock. There is no time for rest. There is no time for eating. There is no time for bathing. You will all just be working non-stop. As you can see, I'm trying to build the plumbing so that way it builds their liquid pump intake into their la lavatory and then back out into the pump to filter it and then back in. And here they go, building the rest of everything that I need. It filters polluted water, there we go. Excuse me, Joshua, did I tell you that you can take a break from building underneath the water? Go back to work, please. Everyone else is hard at work. Um, excuse me, where do you think you're going? 
Oh, you're gonna have Bonnie finish your job for you? Yes, Bonnie, please. Finish what Joshua could not. That lazy, lazy man. He'd rather go run on a treadmill than build underwater. How silly of him. And now, this will take the liquid from here, spit it into this, and this will spit it back out into this pipe. So I am now making their entire city run purely off piss. The only thing that's left is to turn these generators on by piss. Oh, all my colonists are asleep again. But thank God nothing, no one fell asleep underneath the water, right? No, they didn't even make it into the bed. Gossman, we're literally two beds over and you fell asleep. How pitiful. How pitiful. Abe's all up here by himself doing all of this work and all three, four of you, sorry, all four of you are sleeping down here. He's doing all of this by himself, like quite literally by himself. Excuse me? Are they not just gonna get up at all? You know what, Abe? I'm proud of you. You deserve a break. You're not gonna get one, but you deserve a break. I mean, had I been a little bit nicer to you, I would have given you a break by now, but... Oh, he's gonna use the lavatory, and then it goes through the pipes, right? And then it comes through and it gets filtered in. And I got a colony achievement for some something. I don't know what I did, but... Now the rest of them are awake, and Abe's still doing most of the work. By himself. Poor, poor Abe. But the good news is that with all of them doing all that shit, Abe probably could get more stuff done. And probably leveled up. And Joshua cured himself of hypothermia while just standing on a ladder. How impressive, Joshua. Alright, everyone, take one last look at our new, brand new person that we can add to Piss Village. And that shall be Gene. Uh, in the future, if you'd like to see more of this game, please let me know. Uh, I think I'll end this episode here. I know we didn't do too much besides just fuck around with half the mechanics in the game, but that's really what this episode was all about, was just introducing you guys to this game, if you have not seen it before. So, thank you everyone for tuning in to uh, Piss Village. Stay tuned for next time. Peace.